So ladies and gentlemen, we are again given another question about the application of partial differentiation. And we are looking at the application of partial differentiation in engineering. So here, the guiding question says a rectangular container with the length, okay, 3.5 meters, breadth 1.6 meters, and the depth of 0 0.8 meters is expanding along its length at 0 0.04 meters per second. And along its breadth, it is at 0 0.035 meters per second. Now, the container is contracting along its depth at 0 0.05 at a rate of 0 0.05 meters per second. Calculate the approximate change in the volume of the container. So this rectangular container O box looks like this. You can always get a sketch. So we have length, we have uh, breadth, and we have depth. So its volume will be length times breadth times depth. So as you can see, if I'm going to talk about uh, this volume as a function of three independent variables, it will be a function of F, B, and D. So if we are talking about uh, partial differentiation here, we are talking about, I mean, if we are talking about differentiation, we'll be referring to partial differentiation. So let's uh, look at um, what they want. If they want the approximate change in volume, so if we have these three uh, independent variables, then the change in volume, del V, I mean a sigma V, is going to be del V, del B times that change in the in breadth plus del V, del L times, times the change, times that change in length. Ah. Plus, del V, del what? Del D times the small change, the small change in D. So, we are told that the container is contracting along its depth. So, if we are talking about del L, their L is going to be um, expanding along its length at a rate of 0 0.04 meters per second. We are talking about uh, sigma, sigma D, which is the small change in depth, and along its breadth, okay, along its depth is contracting. So there is negative 0 0.05 meters per second. Then if we are talking about sigma L, I mean sigma, sigma what? We have length, so sigma breadth. Then we are going to be talking about 0 0.035 meters per second. It is expanding, meaning it is increasing along the length and breadth, but contracting along the depth. That's why uh, sigma um, d, I'm taking it to be negative 0 0.05, because that's the value that we are given, but decreasing or contracting, then we shall make it a negative. So we start, uh, we start differentiating, so what is um, del V? Del V 
del V, for example, we can put them down. Del V, del B will be LD. Then del V, del D is, is going to be LB. Then del V, del L, okay, will equal to LD. No, 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 no. It will be BD. So what does that mean? We're just substituting the values that we have. Remember, our L, the error given to us is 3.5. 3.5 meters, breadth. 1.6 meters and depth 0 0.8 meters as given above. Yes. So we start substituting uh, sigma v, which is the change in volume, will equal to del v, del b, which is rd. So what is rd? It is going to be 3.5 times, times 0 0.8 times remember we had del b so del b i mean sigma b 0. Point, the bread is 0 0.035 0 0.035 then plus what is del v del r del v del r is bd but what is bd that is one point 1.6 times 0 0.8 times what? Times uh, sigma L. Sigma L is 0 0.04. So times 0 0.04. Then plus what else? Del V, del, del V, del D. Times sigma D. So what is del V, okay, we had, that was, oh, we had del V, here we have, we had del V, del L, okay, del V, del L, we said we have, del V, del L, we have B, D, okay, which we have put, but times, times sigma L, which we said, Sigma L 0 0.04. Now we go to the next one, which is del V del D. So del, del V del D, we say it is equal to L B. So what is L B? That is uh, 3.5 times 1.6. Then times, times Sigma D, which is negative, which is negative. 0 0.5. So if you're evaluating this on your calculator, uh, you should be getting, I have 1.6 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.04. I add there 0 0.8 times 3.5 times 0 0.035. I add... I add the negative 0 0.05 times 1.6 times 3.5 and I'm getting negative 0 0.1300 cubic meters. Remember this is a volume, so if we are talking about the change in volume, then the units that we are going to have will be in cubic meters per second. So that's how we can attempt such a number by applying partial differentiation. Now, finally, 